Hagar, much loved by the flock, convinced a great many to fly with the twins when they left the hollow. He knelt before Riga and presented the crown of feathers their mother had crafted for her and waited for her to respond in kind. She rose as queen, but did not gift Agar the scepter. His scepter. Despite everything, she still said he wasn't ready. It was a test of his will, right? His devotion, one he would not fail. For he was patient, so patient. Together, the twins led the flock away from the oak's hollow to carve new nests in distant boughs beyond the forest's edge. Agar flew far and wide at Riga's behest, always thinking of her test, and returned home with tales of all that he had seen. Dark clouds surrounded them. Fires burned within trees, split by thunderous bolts. His twin kept his words close. Riga scattered prophetic bones and traced their curvature like weathered oaken bends. In them the signs were clear. A great storm did indeed approach. They in its path. And so they prepared themselves war. I wish. I wish you'd just give it to me. I could use it to help us face what we both know is coming. It doesn't even belong to you. This coming storm he speaks of was the Flashpoint. The battle of Saturn against the Taken King. It was the shift from stability into dissonance. I failed to shape Aldrin in accordance with my goals, but if I were to take all that he was and reveal that past to him now, would he be my brother? Or is it only his echoes that remain? I see many of those same beginnings leading now to different ends. Tell me, would you be so forgiving if Crow carried more of Aldrin with him? Would you still accept him 